Hey guys, welcome back to The Game Replay, I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark for the Sony PlayStation 4. Alright, we're getting ready. We're gonna do this. Here we go. It's go time. Man! Oh, God, I didn't see that guy. They're pretty quick when they want to be, huh? So, I mean, maybe I should stay near Optimus? Put my shield up? But what about when the big dudes come? Bumblebee and Drift, of course, are being very helpful. Yeah, like those guys from the sides. That's annoying, right? You gotta watch out for them. Ah! I'm gonna transform. Oh! Okay, that, that was a mistake. And you know what? I can't even defend myself. Oh, that didn't go well. You know, I need to do my special finishing move here. Ready? There we go. Uh, at least the action pauses when I do that. Yeah, see? Not shooting. It doesn't really make sense, but whatever. I'll take it. I'll take the breather. Hold on. So yeah, I transformed and then they accidentally transformed back. I was trying to do my fire breath. What can you do? Uh, but you know what? Yeah, I can't shield myself in dino form and these guys are shooting all over. Optimus Prime's health gauge isn't moving. Oh, now it is. Oh! Oh, I should have did my finishing move because I need a cube. Oh, wait, here we go. Okay, his health's okay. It's okay. I'm taking the bullets. You know, I'm gonna stay with Optimus. There we go. Let's get that guy real fast. Ah, I see, so I didn't have to finish them all off, just had to kind of play the waiting game, meh. I kind of wanted to finish them all off. Come on, let me get the other guy before it's over. I like it when it goes that way. Let me get all the guys. It shouldn't be just like a, a timer type thing. I don't even know what the timer was. Meh. No. Oh well, we might be moving on to our next chapter, which if we do, it's gonna be the last chapter. So, chapter 14, Lockdown. We are controlling Optimus Prime. Can't change my form here. I have to like readjust here to the controls. Okay, we're not Grimlock anymore, got my special. All right, aiming and shooting and my guns and everything. I should be fine. Bumblebee is with us, Drift is not, Grimlock is not. Let's roll out. Or just open the door. It's time to go. Grimlock can't hold them all off. I will stay with him to buy you time. Drift, no one can change their past. But know that your future is secure as a noble Autobot. Thank you, Optimus. Now let's ensure we have a future by stopping lockdown. I have no idea, no idea how long this chapter is going to be. I really, I would like this chapter to be really long. Like, it needs to take me an hour at least. Definitely not gonna be the case. In other words, it would be nice if this would take me two videos worth. Two videos worth. I'm also thinking that may not be the case. 
I am gonna prepare here. Oh, gearboxes. Right. I'm gonna do gearboxes. Forgot about those. I'm gonna do gearboxes right now. Oh, dear. Swoop, how you doing? Me, Swoop, no see nothing. They're all duplicates. I don't think we have a, a new character. Yeah, I don't really want to do this now. I got a lot of gearboxes. A lot of gearboxes. I wish I could go through them a little quicker. The duplicates make them... Yeah, see, like, that's good, but then this duplicate stuff takes just more... A little more time. Hey, was that Ultra Magnus? What was that right there? I think that was a new character. Breakdown! I've always liked Breakdown. Drag Strip. Oh, but it was a dupe. Okay, I guess we're going through... Okay. We might as well do it now, though. Get upgrades, get this and that. I was gonna say, I am gonna patch in here, and I'm gonna equip myself with the best of the best. You know, I don't know if this is it. Maybe, maybe not, but I'm gonna go into it preparing, like it is. Awesome stuff. So let's see, what should I... What should I use then, weapon-wise? We need, like, a good short range and long range. We need, like, good perks. And the guns I use, I'm gonna use, uh, you know, I'm gonna upgrade them if I can. I'm gonna assign the techs first. I'm gonna do that first. We need, uh, we need to heal ourselves. Should we do Energon Heal Burst? So should we do the Recharger? Hmm. Get the Battle Drone, the grenade stuff, the mines, you know. So what should we do? I'm not gonna do the uh, multiplier stuff. You know, we got the cured. Hmm. What's more effective, the drone or the other thing? I'm gonna equip the Energon Recharger. I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna put on a shield. The barrier, depending on how this goes down, that could be a useful tool for us. And, what do you guys think? What would you use? What would you use? Yeah, the shield, eh, I, I don't know about that one. I'll go with the battle drone. Okay, hacks, I think I'm gonna leave this open. You know, I'm not gonna put anything on it, you know. It's good and bad, and it's interesting. We're just gonna leave it clean. So, let's see, should I go with the Scatter Blaster? New upgrades are available for it. So that's acquired, that's acquired, that's acquired. Here we go, I like that. So that thing is maxed up. Oh, um, oh man, it's too bad because the Throwback Blaster is now available to us. I recently unlocked it. Ah. There's no upgrades. I mean, it's a, it's a decent gun, but, uh, oop. How'd, wait, how'd the Path Blaster get equipped there? Meh, all right. So, okay, now, what do you guys think? Thermo Rocket Cannon, lock on targets, it's uh, fully upgraded. Gear Shredder, um, let's see, I think we can, we can max this out here. I'm leaning towards those two. What else do we have here? Depending on what we're gonna be coming in contact with, I don't know, guys. I mean, the range of that, the damage, of course, is crazy. It can be accurate when you lock on. I, I think I'm gonna go with the Thermo Rocket Cannon. So, Scatter Blaster, Thermo Rocket Cannon, got my perks. No idea if we're near the end of this game. It could be a little while. At last. What is the purpose of all this lockdown? What profit is there to be had from want and destruction? How else would I get all of your attention? <laughs> I am used to shielding myself as Rimlock a little bit. I'm gonna have to be uh, dodging and jumping and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I was a little used to that shield, like, huh, I'm taking such damage so fast. Oh, right, just like the majority of the game. This really could be it. I mean, you know, Prime and Lockdown are jawing. You know, they're jawing at each other. They're talking back and forth. They're doing their thing. I'm standing on that. Oop. 
Okay, that's bad, that's bad. I am really used to shielding myself as Grimlock. Man. Hey. Hey. Hey! Bumblebee? Meh. All right, we gotta go another route. I guess I'll go this way. We fight in the name of freedom. We fight in the name of freedom. I can't transform here. Seems like a place where I should be driving, but okay. Uh-oh. Wish I had a cube. They can't give me one more cube. Really wouldn't mind a cube. Oh man. Hey everyone, is this the door? Is this the door? Ammo, no cube, no cube. Ah, look at that, obstacles in our path. Takes me back, War for Cybertron style once again. Ah, I wonder what would happen. Well, I sure we'll get killed. That's that's what'll happen. Whoop! Oh. Another newbie. Time to teach a lesson. You gotta be kidding me, I didn't get hit by it. No, I don't think so. Whatever, man. I didn't get hit by that. How did I I didn't take damage. I am very grumpy. That makes me very unhappy. I disagree. I disagree. Whoop oh yeah, I still don't think I got hit. All right, little cons. Being nuisances. Hopefully there's heavy weapon ammo. Oh, come on, dude. Thanks. What is, oh, it's like a purple pool. What is, what was that? What did I see there? Are my optics on the, on the fritz? Hmm. No, that cannot hurt me. Took me back to Dark of the Moon when Megatron was in that, like, uh, that freezing chamber, right? He was getting frozen up. Megatron has always, movie Megatron has always had a, a hard time, you know, <laughs> in regards to the cold, getting his body froze, frozified. Should put something back here. Whatever. Well, hi. What? Oh. Oh! I see. Can I squeeze through here? I can. It's good to transform with Prime once in a while, you know? I will uh, make another comment. I kind of feel like there hasn't been much need to transform in the vehicle vehicle form, vehicle mode. I switched my weapon. There's only been a couple of times when it was kind of necessary or useful. You know, out of the recent games, Transformers, War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, Dark of the Moon, and uh, this one, Rise of the Dark Spark, the game that best utilizes the vehicle forms. What do you think I'm gonna say, everyone? What do you think I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say War for Cybertron without a doubt. I mean, come on. There were segments where it was like, you know, nothing but vehicle time. Jet, car. Hey, there's Drift. Drift, what transpires above? Grimlock is hunting the fleeing mercenaries. We are glad to have you with us again. Thank you, Optimus. It's good to be back. 
Oh, is it now? So we're gonna confront lockdown. Sounds like an endgame thing to me. Not totally sure. Pulsar cannon? I mean, it's, it's nice, it's cool. I'm gonna go with my uh, rocket cannon. It's got upgrades, remember? I think it'll suit me better. Pulsar cannon's strong, powerful, but eh. Let's roll. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's bad. Oh! I think that's my way. There you go. Um, I, I'm trying not to use any of my specials either. Like I said, I have no idea how long this chapter is gonna go, long or short. There may not be another machine. There may not be none. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be one, but I, I don't know. This is the problem when you haven't played through a game. All right, we're pretty close to where we left off. Can you two take care of one of them, or...? This is a nice little... ...hiding spot. Better watch out. Yep, someone's down. Oh, I'm out of ammo! Drift! Hold on, bruh. I'm just gonna get shot to death. Alright, you're okay. Do something useful for a change, huh? Hey, eh, how about that there? Okay. I haven't had to do something like that in a while, right? saved his personal guard to defend himself and the Dark Spark. Then let us finish this. Prepare yourselves, Autobots. Through this door, Lockdown and the Dark Spark await. Alright, that now if that doesn't tell you, I don't know what will. That is our cue. This is it. There's probably uh hi guys. There's probably a locker here to or maybe not. No loadout? No weapon loadout? Not that last one? I mean, you're pretty much telling me this is it. So before, a couple moments ago, I was saying uh, we haven't had to do any reviving of allies in a while. It was that chapter with Starscream, Soundwave, Shockwave, and... Uh, excuse me. And we were... <laughs> Uh, I'm on top of you as Optimus Prime in my truck form. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna just we walk. I'm gonna walk a little over here. You guys can follow me. We were taking on... I was trying to say, we were taking on the Zeta Prime Guardian clones. Ugh. God, let's finish this. Enough. Enough of this. No loadout locker. Still see nothing. There it is. Ah, of course. Of course. So I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, the gearbox, fine. One sec, everyone. You never know when I could get a gem. A gem! Hmm. Nah. Air Raid! It was a new one. Fun. Um. Oh, and I recharged my ammo if I needed to, so let's see. We're good. Scatter Blaster, Thermo Rocket Cannon. We're supposed to go the other way. Oop! Scared me. <laughs> yeah, I guess fire's blocking this door. I guess. Yeah. Part of me is thinking, should I switch? Scatter Blaster is so short range. It's nice. I like it. Photon Burst, nah, that scopes too much. Should we go with something like the Assault Rifle? I have two upgrades. 
I have the two upgrades for it. Oh, I'm so conflicted, everyone. I like so many guns. I want the perfect combination. I mean, the damage is kind of meh, you know? I mean, the riot cannon. Got no upgrades for that last one, though. You gotta make decisions and live with them. Is that a space bridge? You think so small. It's a time bridge. Dark Spark has granted me the ability to manipulate space time. So I'm pretty sure right now Lockdown is invulnerable. He cannot be harmed. That's okay. You know, we know the game here. We know the routine. Uh, whoa. Okay. Yeah, the routine is you get killed quickly. My God. Jeez. What? What? The, okay. That's what happens. You get killed quickly. I wonder where I'm going to start. The Locker. Maybe I should switch it up from the Scatter Blaster. I mean, you saw the room. Thermo Rocket Cannon was nice and all, but, uh... Man, no upgrades. No more, at least, for that. Uh... Photon Burst. No upgrades, though. Maybe I do need two semi-long-range type weapons. I'm going to go with the Riot Cannon. I'm going to switch it up. We're going to go Riot Cannon, Thermo Rocket Cannon. Two cannons. Good stuff. Let's see. Uh, let's see if this does it. We saw it. We had a taste of the room, a sneak peek. Is that a space bridge? You think so small. It's a time bridge. Oh, I think this gun is gonna serve me much better. It's gonna suit my needs, dude. Out of the way, Bumblebee! Yeah, this thing, I mean, I already have a lock on, you know, uh, cannon. Heat seeking. This is gonna really suit my purposes. Takes regular ammo. There's plenty of regular ammo. I'm gonna save my. I'm gonna save my other gun. Uh oh. Let's get rid of those dudes. We do not need them zoning in on me. Oh, reload, reload, quickly! Oh, Bumblebee, scared me. So Lockdown's up there, he's doing computer stuff. That's cool, good job. <laughs> Look at them all, lined up for me. Hey, how about a break in the middle of a battle? You never know when I could get a new character. You know what's coming next after the campaign, folks. Escalation. And you never know when I might get something nice. So, if you got it, use it. We have to destroy the energy stabilizers while they're exposed. Let's see what we got. I don't like interrupting final battles, but... Okay, I guess I probably should hurry here. Don't know uh, my time limit on that. Don't know at all, but, you know, if you see it, blast it! Oh, wall clingers. They're annoying. Gotta get rid of them. I think I got that one. I think I got that one. <laughs> Oh, 
You don't learn, do you? I never understood why Megatron put such a high price on you, Prime. Once, you and Megatron were evenly matched. Neither able to gain purchase and overtake the other. Perfectly poised conflicts such as those are rare indeed. And they breed boundless opportunities for bounty hunters like me. I used to be very well paid. I want to be well paid again. You want to go back? Back to the heart of the war? Never! I don't want to go back. You think too small. I'm going to bring the war to the present so that it can continue endlessly again. You would bring back the Decepticons? Thrust us into another million years of civil war and turn this planet to ash. All for profit. Without hesitation. Whoa! Freaking me out here. What is going on? We have to find the real one. I mean, I, I get it. I understand. And uh, Lockdown has his powers. So is that the real one? You know, it's time to pull this out. Yeah. The dark spark renders its weapons useless against me. Whoa! Dude! How do we take this guy down? Megatron put such a high price on you, Prime. Once, you and Megatron were evenly matched. Neither able to gain purchase and overtake the other. Perfectly poised conflicts such as those are rare indeed. And they breed boundless opportunities for bounty hunters like me. I used to be very well paid. I want to be well paid again. You want to go back? Back to the heart of the war? Never! Oh, I don't want to go back. You think too small. I'm going to bring the war to the present so that it can continue endlessly again. You would bring back the Decepticons? Thrust us into another million years of civil war and turn this planet to ash. All for profit. Without hesitation. So I think we don't have to wait around for him. If we can just maybe fire at him a couple times here. I'm going to try and do things a little bit differently this time around. Maybe I need to use my special, Optimus' special, not my, um, my add-ons. But I should probably use those as well. Oh! Speaking of specials... Now, I think I was supposed to melee him. But I am not Megatron. Dictatorship does not interest me. However, your interference has cost me a great deal, Optimus. For this, I shall have recompense. Hence, why I do not I will deliver you to Megatron myself after secreting away the Matrix of the Leadership Tools so the war may continue. Yes. Megatron's payment for you will set your heart out nice. Okay, shield time. Let the darkness envelop you. There's no use in resisting. I am never in darkness. I have light within me. Woof. Okay, that worked. So far, so good. He's about halfway down. Yeah, it seems like the key to this is gonna be the shield. And we melee with that. Okay. We just have to time a couple things right. You know, get the shield out not too soon. You will be my finest trophy, Prime. I will be no one's trophy. There you go, Lockdown. 
Where'd he go? He's hurting. I don't think my little uh, helper bot in the sky is doing much to help. They might talk again. I will not allow you to destroy freedom itself. You will be unable to stop me. This might be the last, the last wave. Is my little sentry drone thing doing any damage? I don't think it is, and my guns, they aren't needed. It's all about the melee shield move, huh? Oh no, I think all of, oh, I think all the energon cubes are gone. I'm, uh, yeah, I know, I should shoot him on the wall, and that will probably initiate the last part of this battle. Freedom will always prevail over tyranny. Spare me your moralizing. That might be all the talking. I do like them uh, to finish what they have to say in any final battle. Here we go. Cube's back, by the way. We're not done, Prime. Face. to control the future. But the only future to master is one's own. The humans understand this, yet they also understand that the past is the genesis of all things and must be afforded proper deference. This day would never come. <laughs> nice touch there right at the end. That was Generation 1 Optimus Prime. Another Optimus Prime. There's many in the Transformers universe out there. We've had a couple of appearances throughout the game of two, and that was the last one right there, and I think that was a nice touch to send this campaign off on. So that's the game. That's the game, everyone. That is the campaign portion of this game, Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. So now it's my time, now it's my my moment to say what I think. My thoughts, my opinions, because this is my walkthrough. My! Mine! Uh, okay. Here's the thing with me. My expectations... My, I got my hand up here. All the way down here, down low. My hand is, like, touching the floor, pretty much. That's where my expectations started for this game. I gotta tell you, Transformers Fall of Cybertron was a really good game, and I liked it a lot, but I was very disappointed with uh, Transformers Fall of Cybertron. It lacked in a couple of areas, and I didn't enjoy the multiplayer as much as I did in War for Cybertron. You know, I kind of thought that High Moon Studios dropped the ball a little bit, you know, as far as that game went. So, uh, Fall of Cybertron concluded, and, uh, well, what about the next game after that? Fall of Cybertron, you know, these Transformer games, they're gonna be going around, you know? And I'm not just talking about the movie games, like, you know, there was a movie game release for the first, uh, movie, second movie, Dark of the Moon for the third movie, and... And now we have this game, okay? Now, my expectations being all the way at the bottom of the floor there... I wasn't expecting much for a movie game, but then I kind of found out, well, it's, it's a sequel to or a prequel or whatever to Fall of Cybertron and, uh, you know, how are they going to do that? Well, you know, they didn't do a bad job doing that whole thing, you know, setting that whole scenario up, you know? It was kind of creative, kind of clever, the way they put both stories into uh, one game and they kind of combined them 
a little bit there. You know, it's just an excuse to get, like, two games in one. And, uh, yeah, it was cool, you know? Uh, the game was better than my expectations because I wasn't expecting much. Now, let's say you were going into this with good expectations. Well, you know, the high expectations you might have for this, thinking it was going to compare with even Fall of Cybertron, no. It's going to disappoint you, you're not going to be a happy customer, you're not going to be a happy Transformers fan, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, we got to remember that this is kind of a movie game still, regardless. It's not up there in quality at all with Fall of Cybertron, okay? I mean, I'm playing this one, this... I'm playing this on the PS4, and things look sharp and all, you know, it, it kind of has that PS4 next-gen look, but still, it's not a... it's really not a sharp game. Uh, in regards to, uh, you know, quality. You know, Fall of Cybertron was even sharper. I mean, this might be the PS4 for me now, but still. It's it's not the PS4's finest work, or it wouldn't be the Xbox One's finest work, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, it's, it's not there yet. I mean, the graphics were nice, especially in the Cybertron uh, portion of the game. It looked like Fall of Cybertron. It was basically you know, all the leftovers. It's like Fall of Cybertron's leftovers, throw it all together, throw everything together, Buka, you got uh, this game, you got Rise of the Dark Spark, basically. Uh, you know, nothing new. There was nothing new or fresh. They pretty much borrowed, or stole everything, everything from uh, Fall of Cybertron, which is okay, I suppose. You know, this game, they're not gonna, sp this game, didn't take, uh, like, over a year to make, you know? It, it didn't take that long for them to put this one together. So, once again, what are you expecting? And that's why, uh, this game, I guess you could say for me, lived up to my expectations, you know? Graphic-wise, it was fine. Control-wise, let's talk about the controls. I must say, the controls better than, uh, Dark of the Moon, because it was pretty much a rip-off from Fall of Cybertron, which had, uh, good controls, of course. I mean, because, you know... That being said, it was still clunky at times. You guys probably saw it while watching, or if you played it, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, a little clunky, still kind of has uh, some issues. You know, the quality, it's not, it's not up there with the quality we were expecting, or you may have been expecting. I actually wasn't, I wasn't expecting uh, anything. The, the game's controls lived past my expectations of what I was expecting. So, I mean, what else is there to talk about? The soundtrack, uh, well, pretty much, uh, the soundtrack was borrowed again from Fall of Cybertron. There was some, you know, you're listening to some new stuff right now. From the movie portion of the game, there was new stuff. This and that. Uh, I liked how you got a couple characters involved in each chapter. You know, like that one chapter with Soundwave, Shockwave, Starscream. I was hoping they would, you know, I was hoping they were going to do that more often throughout the chapters. I really like the switch up, you know, with the Insecticon and Shockwave in that other chapter. You know, the back and forth, that was cool. Uh, so, since we're talking about the games, you know, there's kind of two games in one, let's talk about the, the campaign for each of them. The Fall of Cybertron, the Cybertron game in this game was way better. It was longer, and that's my big pro- and that's my big problem with the, uh, the movie aspect of this game in total was that the chapters were too short. I mean, of course, we're all going to enjoy... We're all going to enjoy the Cybertron portion more. Every one of us. Totally going to enjoy that more than the movie part. And uh, the reason why the movie part could have been a little on the short side is because, well, that is work for them. They would have to do work for that. You know why? Because that's the new stuff. They have to create stuff. And the Cybertron portion of the game, they had the borrow stuff, new stuff that already existed, you know, revamp things. I mean, everything you saw was already used, they just kind of combined it to make it, you know, the levels, the layouts, to make it all look different, you know? All of the weapons, the upgrades, this and that, pretty much the same. They, they did some little tweaking, they did a little tweaking here and there, and that was fine and all, but it was just a Fall of Cybertron clone rip. What else is there to say? And Fall of Cybertron was a solid game, and, uh, lived past my expectations, because I wasn't expecting anything like that. I only wish it was longer! Oh, man. I guess this game is just kinda... It's just gonna be there to keep us occupied a little bit. Little bit. I say a little bit because it was so short. Especially the movie portion of the game. Too short. And the transitions, like, eh. At least in the Cybertron 
portion of the game that transitions from chapter to chapter. You know, we had like a cinematic and a big little thing, a showdown boss battle, this and that, whatever. But, uh... Wow, when I got to the movie part and I just started flying through the chapters, I was thinking to myself all playing, like, well, I'm gonna be done this sooner than I thought. I thought, uh, let's see, it's Monday? All right, this project, not including Escalation, will take me uh, to the end of the week. You know, I I'm laying out my blueprint, my plan. I, I like to think, you know, for a walkthrough, I like to think of, all right, well, I got this going on in my personal life, so this will be good. This will probably take me a week, two videos a day. All right, and then like, oh no, these short chapters just kind of screwed that whole thing, that whole process, my setup up. And uh, currently while I'm recording this, folks, you could be watching this like two years after I posted it. Currently, I'm just kind of setting up a couple things, exciting time in my walkthrough life. But uh, that's a little off subject. Going back to this game, once again, it, it lived past my expectations just because I was expecting like Dark of the Moon type stuff, you know what I mean? I will say, even in Dark of the Moon, I think the uh, campaign was longer. It wasn't that long, but uh, yeah, it had more substance uh, as, as far as the cinematics went. I mean, that the, the movie portion of the game did not deliver this time around. But it was great, um, you know, getting back to the Cybertron portion of the game, the characters, the story. Once again, uh, I, I mentioned this before, but the... Uh, the Cybertron portion of this story takes place after War for Cybertron and before Fall of Cybertron. It's right in the middle, even though there's a few inconsistencies, like Megatron has his uh, new body. Uh, why do you think he has his new body, though? Because they ripped it from Fall of Cybertron! They just used everything! They can't go back to uh, 2010 with War for Cybertron and use his body. No, they would have to redesign a whole new thing because they have to make him look good. He actually didn't even look good in this game. It was weird. Uh, yeah, not enough action from certain characters. Uh, there was a lot of Shockwave. Nothing wrong with that. Shockwave's fine and all, but it's too much Shockwave. We didn't get to play a Starscream. Oh, why not? You know, they, they should have switched from Soundwave to Shockwave to Starscream. In, fa in fact, I think they switched uh, from Soundwave to Shockwave, back to Soundwave, back to Shockwave. I mean, if we're gonna do multiple flying segments, throw Starscream a bone. He didn't even get enough time in Fall of Cybertron. Come on, man. So, I believe that's the end of the credits. What what else is there to say? Uh, as far as the campaign goes, the campaign of this game, it lived up to my expectations, but it's not like, you know, this isn't... This isn't out of the ballpark or anything like that. This isn't like an awesome game. If you're a Transformers fan, you gotta pick up this game because you gotta, you know? Like I said, this will, uh, <laughs> probably not even a week. Uh, depends how you play it, how often, how much you do at a time, but it, it won't take you long, but it's a little something for you to snack on, you know what I'm saying? I wish more characters were involved. I wish both of the portions, the Cybertron portion and the movie portion, were longer, especially the movie portion, I suppose. Although I'd rather it all just be in the Cybertron portion altogether. Uh, I wish we could switch between characters more, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. It was great hearing a couple of the uh, Transformers. Peter Cullen was back, of course. He is prime. He's always going to be prime. And uh, yeah, the campaign was okay. So we're done. But what does that leave? Multiplayer? Well, I haven't been talking much about that. Uh, this game kinda kinda lacks multiplayer, and that's where this game really falters. So if you want to include that as part of the rating of this overall game, oh, that is a big no-no. Dark of the Moon had multiplayer. They had a couple maps. Come on, man. What are you doing, Rise of the Dark Spark? Have multiplayer maps. What are you doing? Rip them from Fall of Cybertron. I don't even care. Use, like, the same maps. Do something. Maybe it was because of the multiple characters, I gotta tell you guys, as of right now, I have not even looked into Escalation. Haven't taken a peek. Don't know nothing about it. Nothing about it. I mean, I, I pretty much know what we're gonna see, but uh, we haven't gotten there yet. So uh, we're gonna leave that for the next part when I take on Escalation. Good stuff, folks. For now, I'm gonna call it a wrap right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, leave me those comments and tell me what you think about the, the stuff I just went over. Good stuff. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter. The links are in the description. I'm Dave the Escher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.